Hello everyone, this is Gary DeTonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com. Today I'm coming to you with some critiques and image reviews for the flower contest that we had this month. We got a lot of great images and I've kind of ordered them, um, you know, sort of leading to the winning image. But they were all very good and um, it was tough to decide. So let's jump in there and see what we have. Uh, first off, uh, I think this image uh, had some potential, but it includes, in my opinion, just too much extra stuff around the edges. And, you know, we got some nice bokeh in the background. So the stuff in the background is not really that distracting, except that there are some highlights here. Um, I would have liked to maybe see tighter on the main group of flowers. I think that as a main subject, it's okay. It's not maybe a super strong main subject. Also, and uh, I think maybe the focus would have been better to have the focus in the front of the flowers, uh, not up here in the back. So, because we kind of run into this first. So, just my thoughts on that one. All right, this also is a nice image. I like the way the background looks on this. It's nice and clean, nice and close on the flower. Maybe a bit here too tight, not much room uh, around the edges. And um, there's some depth of field issues. Some of the parts of the flower here are out of focus. Anytime you get really close to a subject, that's going to happen. But at least the main part of the flower here that, that is important is in focus. So overall, a pretty nice image. This flower is uh, nice too, although we don't have enough depth of field to cover the whole entire flower. And there is a, a spider here, but he's kind of out of focus and... You know, the subject was flowers, so I don't know that it's not really adding to the story for me. Now, this image was really nice. It could have been a, a better contender, in my opinion, if it was uh, shot tighter. There's, it's just too small in the frame. I think this is really nice, too. The, the golden light on the white flowers is very nice. Um, but to me, the, the whole image is this middle part right here, and I think there's too much um, empty sky and maybe even too much um, green down at the bottom. This image was nice in its composition, um, but the lighting and the color, uh, the lighting is kind of flat and the, co the color is kind of dull. So I think that um, it just doesn't make his pop as as well as some of the others. But as far as the sharpness and depth of field, um, that all looks just fine. I think this had potential to be uh, a much better image if uh, if you cropped off everything over here on the left side. The real subject is over here, and maybe we want to see this diagonal leading to it. So some sort of a crop in this uh, in this section, and I think you had a much stronger image. I like this. Uh, I like this one. I considered it. It was a contender. Um, nice depth of field in this area, but then we start to lose some back here. Uh, nice out of focus area in the back. So that you know, there are some very good parts to this, but uh, you know, comparing it to the other ones, I had to downgrade a little bit for some lack of depth of field. I thought this image was nice, nice strong center of uh, interest here. Um, you know, the white vignette is not too common, but it works well for this image. Um, I think maybe there's a lot of, um, you know, sort of distracting space up in this corner, so maybe a little bit tighter crop. Other than that, it's a nice image. I thought this was a pretty cool image too, but uh, there was too much going on. Um, you know, with all the branches on both sides. To me, the center of interest is these two flowers. The bee, again, is uh, could have been adding to the story if it had been in the right place. The bee looks like he's kind of leaving. So, it's, you know, it's nice to capture a bee in flight. It's great. Uh, but in this case, it looks like you're past the decisive moment with the bee. This one is uh, a very nice image. Uh, was a top contender because the background is nicely blurred out, the flower is nice and sharp, looks like we have depth of field throughout the flower uh, in all the important areas that we need to see. Um, and I think it's really well done, and it could have been uh, a winner. 
but I felt that this image was just a little bit better. Um, you know, the black background really sets off this pink flower. And I am choosing this one as this week's image, uh, as this month's winner, I mean. So congratulations, and um, send me an email, and I will get to you for your prize. So again, this has been Gary Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com.